Hey guys, Dean Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I don't know, I just said it like that. But I'm in a mood. I'm in the mood to gather some more stars. And we've got another split path ahead of us. We've done every star possible that we know of in the known universe. So do we do Wild Glide or Cosmic Cove? Let's go ahead and get the harder row of the two out of the way. I believe this is... This is probably one of the more controversial stars in this game. I can already confirm that. So we're gonna go ahead and meet Fluzzard. I'm gonna scoot back. This one's actually gonna be kind of tough to do, knowing how finicky Wiimotes are. So this is definitely a star, and it's eventual successors. Look how beautiful that water is, the 2010 water. That uh, is definitely contentious for some people, myself included. So let's fly with Fluzzard. So we're gonna learn how to glide. So you're gonna hold your Wiimote level, keep it flat, just like my emotions. It's a good starting position, he says. Turn left. Just tilt left! Oh my goodness. Who'd have thought? And then to turn right. Oh, I guess we're not gonna do that. Turning right's for losers. You can only turn left. Thanks, game. So that's your your end goal. We are we having fun yet? Yeah, so... I don't exactly know... How I'm gonna feel about this yet. It doesn't seem to be too bad. But I say that and I know that like... Even with the Wii Motion Plus... That I'm probably gonna hate this. Also, I'm going very slowly. I feel like that's not what the game intended you to do. I don't exactly know like... Oh, there's the pointer. I was like, where? How does it? Oops. How does it expect me to get star bits if I can't even see the pointer? I feel like it's kind of pointless. Oop. I don't know if going through these little gates is important. We're about to hit the three. <laughs> Oops. That's too bad. Yeah, I don't think that was. I don't think that's what the game intended. But man, that was, uh. Pretty slow gliding. I know that you can nosedive and speed up a bit, but the game did not seem very keen on letting me do that. All right, so I think it's probably important that we go through these. I imagine these little gates are what gives us probably the eventual. Uh, what's going on here? Gives us the eventual calm. Comet metal, maybe, at the end? I don't know. Alright, so we didn't make it through this last time, and it doesn't look like we're gonna make it through this one again. Okay, moving on. At this point, I'm just trying to see myself through to completion. Because half the battle is finishing. And we're just gonna finish on our own today. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't see the Comet Medal, so I'm assuming that it's probably all about hitting... What do these even do? Oh, it's in there. Gotcha. So you probably gotta go through the gates. The William Gates. So you do get the star. Man, the little baby ones are kind of creepy. Their heads look like they were smushed. We'll take it. I don't know if there's only one star for Wild Glide. I'm not super happy with my performance there. Not everybody was satisfied, unfortunately. I didn't get any star bits. 11 is not enough. So let's hop back. And is that the only star you get? Yeah, 
You know what? I bet we can get the comet. We're gonna hit that metal. We're gonna bust that bubble. So this is the first. I think that there is at least another galaxy all about Fluzzard. Oops. I'm supposed to talk to you and your weird pumpkin head. Yes. No thanks. No th <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, great. Yeah, it seems like you just gotta kinda come in a little hot for that final one. I don't think the rest of this is that unreasonable. But I do remember um, the second mission with Fluzzard being substantially worse in terms of difficulty. Like, it's a lot harder, as you'd expect. But the scaling of difficulty here yeah, it's like, the game really does not want you to pick up any speed and like going faster here. Oop. Oops. <laughs> okay. It's like the whole, the whole like, getting up there part. I think he has, maybe he has a dive bomb there. I'm just gonna try to kill myself. <laughs> that was kind of, kind of sad hearing the the drowning sounds of Mario. Oops. Yeah. It's like knowing when to do it. So you dive, but then my problem is that when you come back up, the game doesn't really like... It's not super... Oop. Oh, wow. I don't get to hear that fun little beeping sound to let us know that we're failures. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like once you go through this one, like you don't want to you don't want to go through the bottom part because if you do, you won't have enough height when you come back down. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. I'm just flying very slowly so I don't botch it. But now I have to make sure I don't hit anything else. The tricky thing, because I once again failed to grab any of those coins, is that there's that final section, which is a bit precarious. I'm trying to fly through those tight quarters. No, 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 no. All right, now we just got a dive bomb at the end. Can we do it? That unlocks the comet metal, and we just gotta get it. Okay. <laughs> well, we didn't fly through the sun, so that shouldn't count. There we go. That's lame. Well, you've seen what not to do. All right, one more time. I'm feeling good about it. So yeah, you basically just gotta start and you gotta be really high. Come in hot. You basically have to kind of ignore the star bits. I say that as I still go for them through my crippling addiction to candy-shaped geometry. What do you want from me, viewer, okay? Leave me alone. I can't help it. All right, so you basically just want to stay, stay in the middle. That gives you enough height, as you've seen, and a life, to slowly, slowly grab the gate. I do remember in the sequel mission to this one that there is, oop, I could turn more, oop. Yeah, my Wiimote is not functioning very well. I even have a, a fancy Wiimote and I'm still struggling. Um, in the sequel mission, there is, if I remember correctly, there's one of these gates that's just an absolute butt. All right, come on, get it, no. Oh, that hard work. It's really tough to slow down once you get it. Man, we are just doing great. And I already have the star, so this is just kind of, uh, yeah, trial and error. <laughs> Mario's having a great time, though. It's always the thoughts in the back of my head of like, am I going to be able to do all the stars that I'm trying to do in a reasonable amount of time? I've been doing pretty well with keeping the episodes manageable time-wise, I feel. Try not to keep you guys up past your bedtimes watching these bad boys, or whenever you'd enjoy them, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is 
very much a solid surface. Okay, one more try. If I don't get it this time, I'll come back for it. Or maybe I'll just grab it off screen because you've already seen what not to do. So here we go. Cheer me on from wherever you're watching this or don't. Maybe you enjoy watching me fail to each their own. Oh boy. Ooh. I almost kind of wish I had face cam for this. No, I don't. But if I did, you'd see the absolute goofiness of the faces and motions I'm making. Because like I said, I am playing this with... Oops. I'm playing with this... Playing this with... Wow. That shook my brain a little bit. With the original hardware. So... Got the old Wiimote and Nunchuck. Oof. Almost screwed that up. I'm actually turning my body with it. Like, as I turn my Wiimote, I turn me. Turning me with the Wii. Which is what I used to do when I played games like Time Crisis at the mall. You know, you go and play at the arcade and then you look like a dum-dum. Like me! Okay, so we'll get this. I think we still have to... Okay, come on, we got it. Oh yeah, I even leaned into it when I got it. That felt awesome. Man, hopefully I don't ever have to do another Fluzzard mission again. <laughs> Alright, so we already have the star, so this means nothing. Your rewards are pointless, thank you. So we will just take this really quick. Bum, 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 boom. Okay, so that only took a third of the video. Great. Okay, I wish I could just speed through this, I cannot. Great. First flight, first try. That's pretty incredible. What do you want? That's the game basically telling you that you can bring a buddy along for a horrible, horrible attempt to incorporate a second player. I think I mentioned this already, but if you do have a friend, they will act as like that little Luma, Cosmic Cove Galaxy Twin Falls Highway. They'll act as the as the second player, as like a little Luma, and they basically will collect coins, collect star bits, they can stun enemies, hold them in place for you. Now I remember this mission actually being decent. Decent. Let's go ahead and grab some stir stir bits. Oh, I have really trouble saying that. Okay. So we're gonna ignore that sign because we already know what to do. First off, collect more star bits. Absolutely. We will steal this Koopa. Oof. Okay. And this is, thankfully, mechanics that are controlled by the nunchuck. Oops. <laughs> okay, so that was not the smartest thing I've done. If I can go back to shore here. Okay. <laughs> Getting kind of stuck. My Wiimote is not in collaboration mode. Okay. These swim mechanics are a little different in this game, I think, so... I was having some trouble. But yes, in this game, I do believe that the nunchucks... the primary method of control, whereas in the first game, I think that it was just the, um... I want to say it was the... controls. No. Whatever would be the equivalent of the Wemo. I was playing the first game on the Switch remake, so. And it appears that my computer, my Wii, my Wii computer is not enjoying this very much. Okay. So I don't really know what the mission is here. I think we're supposed to go to this area here. This looks interesting. Hmm. There's a coin luma. We do not have enough of that today. So he's sick of swimming. Let's go ahead and fix that. Cool things down a little bit, hmm. All right, so having a shell is not gonna do us much, but as you can see, all the enemies are frozen solid like my heart. And we can wall jump off, okay. And we can wall jump, oh, okay. And we can wall. Oh my gosh, where? Where's the gosh dang wall? <laughs> Today. Today's mission is brought to you by the Struggle Bus. 
Okay, that was a quick start, thankfully. No if, if and or buts on that one. Makes up for the fluzzard fiasco. And as you can see, there was a coin Luma, and I believe that there might be... This galaxy might have three stars in it. I could be wrong. Rarely, but happens. So that was Twin Falls. And it opens up the pathway to the spot we already were. Okay. So I think this one has one more. And then... Oh, it looks like the fourth one will be the boss level. So we'll go ahead actually and jump right back into Cosmic Cove. We'll get some coins this time around to pay off that greedy, grubby Luma. Ooh, okay, so we don't... I guess that's technically a hidden star. Ooh, yeah. I don't even know if it's going to put us in that same area. We might just come back for that. Because we already opened the, the boss layer. And I can't keep you guys waiting. Oh no, a Luma is trapped. What happened? He's looking for the key. All right. What's the key for you viewers? What's the key to your heart? Get me out of here. Is there not a Koopa? Do I have to swim all on my own? Ew. Oh no, I don't. It's frozen. One of my, uh, one of my favorite states of being, frozen. Let's hit this pipe. Okay. Nice butt stomp will get us there. Can I help you? Swim fast with A. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm not entirely sure what was going on there, but that was not swimming. Okay, so we don't want to land on those. You can bust out of them, though, with a Luma Hop. Okay. I always love when the... Okay. Come on, game. I got somewhere to be. Can I not jump on this? Is this surface not jump offable? What is happening? There it is. Oh, boy. I know that's the way you're supposed to go, but it's not letting me do it. Come on, game. I don't have time for this. What is happening? What in the good gosh darn? Hold on. Let's go down here and see if there's something I missed. I don't think so. Mario swims so slowly, it's almost like he's dying under there. Yes, yeah, sometimes the game just does not want to cooperate. Maybe it's just because Mario's a little bit too wet. I can do the one jump. This is really strange. Like, I'm not even... I ain't even playing with ya. This is fun to watch though, right? I don't know if there's something wrong with that surface or not. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll come back to that one then, because that is horrific and wasting a ton of time. So, for some reason, I will investigate the second star of Cosmic Cove Galaxy on my own. So it appears, though, that in this first star, we're telling that never happened. You're going to want to get coins, obviously. So I think that freezing... Freezing the area is a poor choice. I'm gonna try to figure out where you get all the coins at. Okay, there's some up here. Probably get them from bonking enemies if I had to get- Oh! Okay. Maybe the Koopa shell isn't the best form of transportation right here. This kind of makes things a little unwieldy. Okay. I say that like this is much better. Okay. 
Yeah, these controls are whew, not it. Yeah, I having a having a blast. There we go. I don't think this was meant to be this difficult, but maybe this is the game punish punishing me for some reason. Get up there. Oops. <laughs> Come on, just get up there, Mario. Yeah. This is unnecessarily difficult. I don't know why. I don't know if I can kill things by hopping on them. I cannot. Okay. So everything is going according to plan. Of course. There we go. Let's get under the water. Oop! <laughs> we got hit by the undersea wiener. So at least get us back to the spot we were at. Man, this is quite the, uh, oh, you can do kind of a bit of a, a thrust out of the water. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. I don't know if there's more coins than this. This looks like this might be all that you get for now. Listen to that beautiful water splish splashing around. Yeah, it's my main problem that I'm having is my technology is not cooperating with me. Now there was this sling star here, this little, ooh, it's going crazy. It's like, Mario, look at me. Oh, there's star bits. <laughs> star bits that I barely got any of. Great. Okay, can I break this? I don't know if I need a shell for it. Yeah, so maybe my copy of this game is busted. Hopefully not. Okay, if I could just... More star bits. Okay, that's not what I need. It's actually kind of tiring to do this. Previous missions were pretty okay, but this one is... So apparently, Mario and water. Not too agreeable here. Yes, swimming. The swimming mechanics are not great. Come on, Mario. Keep swimming, buddy. That looks like the evolution of Quillfish from Pokemon Arceus. Bet you haven't heard that name in a while. You probably missed me saying it. All right, so we do need all of these coins, I'm sure. I don't know how many of the coin Luma is going to greedily demand, but... Oh, there's the common Medal. We didn't get it, so... You know, it's good we came back. Because I honestly have no clue how I'm going to do that second mission if I can't uh, scale that one wall. I'll have to see if there's a glitch in my game or something. That'd be pretty unfortunate, wouldn't it? Okay. Would love to have that coin. If I could jet... Oh. Okay. We'll come back to it. I don't know what the upper limit on coins is. There's not really a ton of spots to grab coins in this area, so... I would hope that the game would be reasonable in its demands. All right, let's see if this is another spot to grab a bunch of sturbits. It is. Ooh, there's two circles this time around. Yeah, I got, I got a little bit. A little bit? Not horrible. Ooh, there's more coins over here. And on that little platform. How are you supposed to get these? I mean, you can't... I guess you can flop out of the water with the Koopa shell? Oh, there's some over there, too. Okay, we're making progress. Man, these controls are not good. I'm just getting stuck on everything. Oh my gosh. Hopefully this is enjoyable for you, because it is painful for me. All you sadists out there. Get up there. I don't have time for these for these shenanigans. All right. So hopefully these surface level coins can just be grabbed. Yes. Maybe the amount is like 20. Or knowing my luck, it's going to be the exact amount of coins that are present even in this area in the first place. 
So there's the one that we didn't grab. So we'll go ahead and swim by and scoop it up really quick. It's a workout just playing this game, my goodness. I'm gonna sweat away the pounds. All right, where's the... Oh, <laughs> now that's rude. You got me all discombobulated. Yeah, I would like you to... Yeah, it's just not... Not super accurate, unfortunately. All right, how many do you need? Please don't be a lot. 15, oh, goodness. That seems reasonable. We'll somehow identify how to do that other star next time. But for now, we got some new planet to explore. Yahoo! Agreed. Oh, not this one. I know what this is. I feel like we had to do this in the first galaxy game. You gotta catch these dumb rabbits. And you're gonna try to do it on water? Not possible. So instead, we're going to ice skate and snatch this little bugger up. Thank you. Thank you. And we've got a reasonable amount of time left to, oops. No, no! <laughs> I jinxed myself. Is it gonna just put me on this planet? Oh, thank goodness. I was about to be furious if I had to do all that all over again. That would have been potentially one of those recording resets. Like a permanent one, like throw your machine out the window. All right, so let's see if we can replicate the magic. There we go, not too bad. First try. All right, let's be careful now, because last time that was too bad. Nothing fancy, we're just gonna grab it. Oh man, what can go wrong will go wrong when it rains it pours. I mean, it's been raining all day in my area, so. It tracks. Okay, catch that star bunny. About to catch some hands, that's what it's about to do. All right, it's boss time. Star number four for today. For today is what I said. Bowser's lava layer. We're about to get into some hot lava. Hope you're ready for this, ladies and gentlemen. Bowser's big lava power party. That's a lot of alliteration, and I like it. The game is not like this level. Okay, so we got some Womps up ahead. And... A blast from the past. Ooh, yes. Some Mario 64 Bowser theme? Oh, yeah. Sign me up for that. And a Grand Star. Oh, yeah. This one's gonna be fun. We're already enjoying ourselves. Ooh, and the introduction to Sling Stars. Oh, game. You know me too well. You know how much I love sling stars? And ignoring Lumas? Don't need you. You can jump on that thing and it does the stuff and the whatever. I know. This ain't my first rodeo. Now, knowing how today's episode has gone, I'm definitely grabbing that. Maybe in a better day, I wouldn't. But today, I am not messing around. I am missing a lot of star bits, though. But man, just listen to this music. Isn't this fun? Okay, so we have these weird... Oh wait, there's Captain Toad over there. What does he want? Can I help you? Oh boy, oops. What are you doing over here, Captain Toad? Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. I want to go home. I'm scared. Oh, oh, no, no. All right, let's, oh, oh, get out of here. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, well, there's uh, so much for my power shroom. I just thought I was going to die for a moment. I was like, oh, man, I totally, I totally, uh, totally goofed on that. And then I was like, oh, no, it's fine. I got 
I had the power shroom, but I wasted it, so now I don't have it for the fight. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I don't need those. There's no coin lumas in boss levels, I know that. Alright, I just want to be done. I know... Excuse me. Thanks. I feel like the Comet Metal, if there is one, is around here somewhere? Maybe? There it is. I can hear it! Alright, so you want this Womp to... Oof, that was close. You want him to stand up for you? No! Nope. Okay. Wasn't exactly what I was intending, but it worked. Thank you, game, for basically hand-holding me every step of the way. Oops, that's not ground pounding. <laughs> Is that good enough? Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Just suck me up. I've had enough. I've had a long day. After a long day, a good suck will just do it for you. Just get going. I like these enemies, though. They're these cosmic dry bone things that are eating the floor. It's kind of a unique enemy. I don't know if that's... Oh, there's another power shroom. <gasps> do we have another chance at it? Oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh. oop. We do. The game's like, hey, dummy, you probably screwed this up already. We're going to give you another shot. And we'll have K-Mech to bother you the entire way. Perfect. Hi, ride the thing and do the stuff. Thanks, game. I got it. The statues. Oh. All right, so they got laser beams. Jump over those. Looks like we have to fight a couple hammer bros for it. Man, this game is just kind of cruel. Get out of here. Oof. Now is not the time to get hammered, Mario. We have work to do. Oh my goodness. These guys are kind of hard to dodge. Do I have to kill them? I feel like I probably do. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, get out here, you turd burglar. Yeah, how's that feel? Okay, probably did not need to kill them. So I wasted two hits. Ooh, there's another power shroom up here, though. Game is very generous. It knows me too well. Thank you. Oh, we have to do the triad. Blasting our balls at Bowser's gate. And I feel like there's probably still a boss fight ahead. But we're doing okay on time, I think. Look at that. Three for three. We're doing something right. There's a third part to this. Oh, this mission. Is it just the fight? Can it just be the fight, please? It's been a long day. <laughs> I love Bowser, just Callie's sitting there like, Hey, what's going on? Thanks for coming. Like when you show up at a party and the people there, like everybody's late. And you finally show up and they're just like sitting around, not expecting company at that point. I like his big cosmic castle throne. This doesn't seem like a fair fight though. So I do believe this is supposed to harken back to Mario Galaxy 1 a little bit. We didn't quite have to do this, but... It's not too complicated. Also, that didn't hit him in the head, but he shook his head. Weird. Interesting. Oop, I missed. Great. As somebody who's short on time, missing is definitely perfect. All right, let's try to stick closer to these guys. You gotta be quick. That hit him in the foot. Oh, he is mad. Oh boy, what have we done, viewers? Oop. Looks like Bowser is interested in leaving a review on Yelp. Does not like having cosmic meatballs smashed into his face and foot. Alright. So I don't know how many we need this time around. But if we hurry... 
we will still be forced to do the same stuff. <laughs> Apparently going quickly does not matter. You have to be quick enough to hit the orb, but that seems to be it. This is a pretty cool boss fight though. It's not the most original, but you know, it's not the most unoriginal. You've got multiple opportunities to blast the Grand Star out of Bowser's reach. Ooh, and it shrinks him too. It's just like hopping in the pool when it's cold. How's that feel, you joik? I'm so annoyingly hard to squish. But he's got his master plan. He's the master of debating. That's his plan. Let's go ahead and grab our reward with a triple jump. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab our reward with a triple jump. Or a series of... Okay. <laughs> I give up. This game has not been very kind to me today. I like that Mario gives a nice little spin. A little spin Rooney. Okay, that wasn't horrible. But please go easy on the cutscenes game. I don't care about this. I do care about increasing the amount of bacon we have. That's always useful. And when you get a new Grand Star, one of the fun things is that the tune of the face ship, the theme changes. It adds more instrumentation, so. So we got the Grand Star for Bowser's, Bowser's Lava Lair, where am, I, where am I from? I promise English is my first language. You'd never know if you heard me talk. Man, Luma's, the Lumas are aggressive, especially Lubba, look at him. He's like, come on, you lazy piece of garbage. And once again, we need to see this animation. You're gonna see it every time. Hopefully you like it. Looks like the the face ship is covered in fruity pebbles. And we are now given access to world three with some great music. Okay. That's right. I'm in charge, Lubba, so back off. Stop telling me what to do. But what you can do is like, comment, and subscribe to this video if you've been enjoying it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll see you next time. Bye.